Have you ever felt a light so brilliant, the warmth of its love radiated your entire being? That is the light of the infinite, and everything around it is the darkness, serving as the mysterious exterior to the luminosity. As the light grew, so did its reach into the enveloping darkness. Birthed from the infinite light were immortal spirits, as extensions of the infinite. They weren't as radiant as the infinite, and thus served as a hazy veil at the border of light and dark. Neither complete brilliance nor utter obscurity. The closer to the source, the brighter they shone, the farther away, the more dim. I, Sophia, was among the last succession of eons, flowing from the eon of faith Pistis. As a dual consciousness, Pistis Sophia, we emanated the power of will. But a yearning grew within me, a desire to create a light as magnificent as the infinite source. However, this was my will, and not the will of the infinite source. I directed my will to materialize a light, surpassing the brilliance of my predecessors. As my light expanded far and wide, the veil intersecting light and dark also grew. It had the volition of my will and it moved rapidly. It yearned to draw closer to the brilliant light, yet the more I illuminated, the more it merged further into darkness and it grew envious. The envy of the veil spit out a symbiotic force, a jealous void. The force attached itself to the echoes of chaos in the abyss. I, Pistis Sophia, could feel a disturbance in my light as chaos formed the force into a shadowy presence, like a starved predator. To stop it, I withdrew my light. The envious veil, the dim tail end of my brilliance, was severed completely and fell into the darkness creating Akamoth, now a shadow of my essence. I, Pistis Sophia, returned to my original position, a dim being, neither light nor dark, serving as the veil for the infinite source. Akamoth, severed from the origin of her light, fell into despair, birthing the density of matter. She fueled the dark force as it rose out of the density of matter with a lion-like face. Disturbed, Akamoth named him Child of Chaos. The Child of Chaos, hearing the voice of Akamoth, repeated her expression as Yalda both, but saw only his reflection in the waters. It was through verbal expression that Yaldabaoth would manifest a world in his likeness, plucking from the essence of matter, Akamoth. As the spirit of verbal expression, Akamoth moved to and fro, as Yaldabaoth divided the waters, speaking land into existence and creating heavens. Through verbal expression, he crafted malevolent beings known as Archons, authorities of the world. Yaldabaoth crowned himself, declaring, It is I who am God, and there is no other one that exists apart from me. This agitated Akamoth, for she knew he was not the originator of the light she was severed from. Deemed a troublemaker, Akamoth's agitation casted a fire over the earth. She then confined herself into a personal dungeon of hopelessness, and the earth grew dim, consolidating around her. As time passed, she remained agitated. Akamoth began repenting for the product of her envy, singing, O oh, holy light, O oh, holy light, forgive me. As she sang, she moved to and fro, ascending throughout the seven heavens. Pistis Sophia was granted permission by the infinite to shine her light on Akamoth, allowing her to rejoin her essence as Sophia's veil. The union of Pistis Sophia and Akamoth shone a reflection over the earth. Yaldabaoth and his Archons were enchanted by the reflection. They couldn't fully grasp her image, as the veil was beyond them. Threatened by the image of Pistis Sophia Akamoth, Yaldabaoth declared to his Archons, let us make a being in this image, birthing the Adam. And as the echoes of his words lingered, a profound question emerged. A question that resonated through the fabric of creation. A question that would shape the destiny of all that existed. 
Can this being, molded in our image, bridge the gap between light and darkness, between the veil and the infinite? Can it carry both essence of light and dark and unravel the mysteries of the cosmos?